Vladimir Putin's interview with former Fox News host Tucker Carlson has made headlines across the world, but not for the right reasons. Not only did the Russian president repeat untrue statements about his war in Ukraine, but a number of other false claims about how Carlson secured the interview have flooded social media. Let's get down to the truth. In the controversial interview, Putin once again claimed that Ukraine started the war and that Russia wants to end it. This is untrue. Russia initially launched the war back in 2014, when it annexed Crimea and later occupied parts of Ukraine's Donetsk and Luhansk regions. Russia then began its full-scale invasion of Ukraine in February 2022, despite repeated assurances by Putin that he was planning no such thing. Since then, Russia has ignored demands from the UN and the International Court of Justice to withdraw. The first 30 minutes or so of the interview saw Putin present an argument denying Ukraine statehood and claiming it's a historical part of Russia. It's a fact that Ukraine is a sovereign state recognized by UN members, including Russia itself. Ukraine's centuries-old history is an established historical fact. Putin also said that the conflict is necessary to what he called denazify Ukraine, protect Russian speakers, and that Ukrainians still consider themselves Russian, which is false. The Ukrainian nation is fighting against Russia as a whole, both the Ukrainian and Russian speakers. Ukraine stands firm in liberating all occupied territory and pursuing its own path, rejecting any Russian interference. It wasn't just Putin making false claims. When announcing the interview, Carlson said he was the only Western journalist to try and reach out to Putin since the full-scale invasion of Ukraine began. This isn't true. Not only have various journalists come out and said that their requests to interview Putin have been repeatedly rejected, but even the Kremlin has refuted the claim. According to Russian news reports, Russia's presidential press secretary, Dmitry Peskov, said Carlson was wrong and that they received many requests for interviews with Putin. Another false claim suggested that Carlson has been placed on Ukraine's kill list as a result of the interview. This tweet has been seen over two million times and suggests Carlson was put on the Mirat Voritz kill list following the Putin interview. The Mirat Voritz list is an independent project that aims to keep track of supposed enemies of Ukraine. While a few people have died after their details were published on the list, there's no proven link between the two. Additionally, Carlson was on the list even before the interview, and there have been no calls for violence towards him. For more investigations and fact checks, take a look at our website, euronews.com.